uh, asked to do the collection with Caprici. I was, uh, you know, I kind of went through all the other shows and they were usually more of a Western flavor. And of course, we do Indian clothing. So we thought that, you know, it would be really nice to bring in some, uh, you know, kind of deeper tones and richer fabrics and see how Caprici would work. Because actually in a day-to-day -day life, uh, you would carry the bag to a wedding or to a party or like, you know, on a date night. So we wanted to kind of show those variations of that on the runway. Uh, Koshalish uh, or Confluence, as what our collection was called, is basically the journey of uh, kind of art from Uzbekistan all the way to India, uh, through Persia and Afghanistan, and you know from the Mughals to India. And every time you know it goes to a different area, it kind of merges with the local arts and crafts, and you get a completely new form, art form. And uh, such beautiful motifs and embroideries and textures come out of those, uh, what we call now collaborations. But in those days, it was just naturally, you know, like people from this village would come to that village and their arts and crafts would kind of merge. And uh, there's some interesting things which I and I press kit about which kind of embroideries used to be called what in different areas. I won't get into that. But what is beautiful is that when the Mughals came to India, they kind of mixed with our Indian culture in terms of our Maharajas, Maharanis, and our Indian art and architecture, and gave birth to a completely new form of art and architecture, which you see as what we call today Mughal art, but it's got a lot of Indian influence. So basically, that's in a nutshell what the collection was about. First of all, congratulations on having an amazing show. Uh, needless to say, the clothes are so beautiful. Uh, also, my association with Payal, we go long back. We met each other five years ago and I was a pest and I told her, I have to walk for you. And uh, I was waiting for this opportunity and it, it's, it's, it's like a dream come true for me and I'm, I couldn't be happier. And uh, the best thing is it's Payal's birthday. It's such an auspicious day. And this is my first Lakme Fashion Week walk and it's with her. So I, I, I feel really grateful and thankful. So thank you. I, I really, really feel nowadays everybody is uh, quite aware as to uh, what they should dress as. And so they are all very well turned out. But if you ask me my favorite, uh, like somebody, a style icon that I look up to is Audrey Hepburn, Catherine Hepburn. And in India, Rekha Ji. I love saris. I'm a Bengali. I have grown up on saris. So yeah they'd be my absolute favorites. Depends on the, I, I think you should dress up according to the occasion. Uh, you know, wearing a denim and a tee to a wedding is not cool. So you should wear a sari or a lehenga it, 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 and so on and so forth. So. I was very nervous. I was on stage. But before the show and after that, I was very shivering. And I guess it happens because, you know, as a performer, you used to dancing or singing or acting. So there's an activity that you do. Here, you just have to kind of... She gave me a tip right before I walked. She said, romance the camera. Forget about everything else. Look at the camera and romance. So I tried following her instruction. I don't know how successful I was, but it helped. Mumbai Raftar News ki khabare pasand aane par. हमारे YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और लाइक करें